I'm not believing that proposal. It's not so. This proposal is a prank. Is a prank. And untouchable want to know if Precious will marry him or not. If you listen to his statement, he said, let's do this one. Let, let me propose to her to know if the proposal will lead to marriage. Someone that is sensible will understand that is a prank. Why will Untouchable Comedy marry Precious the Fruit Seller? This is the question many people is asking in the comment section. Many bloggers are blogging about it. Even Ene Onjuja said no. Untouchable is not the right man for Precious. Koboko said no. Untouchable is not supposed to marry Precious. The question is this. Why will Untouchable marry Precious since she, she, he is not supposed to marry her? Anyway, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending where you are watching me from. My name is Remes Authority Voice, aka Professor Abetat Road. If you see the video and you never share my video for the first time, hit here and the follow and share button. Very, very important. And comment your own opinion. First of all, let me say congratulations to Untouchable Comedy and the Precious the Flow Seller. You know why? No matter the condition, when you're happy for another person's blessing, your own blessing will locate you. That's why I need to say congratulations, no matter the condition, because it was celebration. Yes, it was celebration. The latest update is that Untouchable Comedy proposed the girl that he helped called Precious the Fruit Seller, according to what they target. You know, Untouchable is a big prankster. Yes, he's a big prankster. And Untouchable Comedy did not propose to Precious all this while. It happened a few days after Precious pranked Untouchable Comedy mom and tell his mom to do what? To tell his, her son to marry her. After that, Untouchable decided to propose to Precious. Put you on the share button. This particular proposal brings a lot of argument in the social media. I have received a lot of private comments asking me, does it mean that Untouchable don't have girlfriend? And does it mean that Precious don't have boyfriend? This is a question you, as somebody that is sensible, supposed to be asking by now. Not that both of them are supposed to marry each other. The truth of the matter is that I believe that Precious have a boyfriend and Untouchable also have what? A girlfriend. But what I saw is that they are bestie. Let's put boss aside. They are bestie. Bestie where they destroy something. Many people are saying that Precious uh, is not comfortable with the proposal uh, she, that is not from her, from her heart to accept the proposal. I want to tell you something. I want to tell you something. If Untouchable and the Precious have not discussed anything about marriage, based on social media life, we know that we know Precious as Untouchable girl, somebody that he picked up from streets and help. We did not know her as Untouchable girlfriend. For Untouchable to gather courage and propose to Precious, it means both of them are having something but people on social media don't know. Maybe after having something, Precious will still go back to her boyfriend. Untouchable will still go to her to his own girlfriend. Secondly, if Untouchable Comedy and Precious have not discussed anything about marriage, Untouchable will not kneel down and propose to um, Precious on her way. It's not possible. This is the argument, logical things that we need to consider first. But you will not stop me from saying congratulations to Untouchable Comedy. Now, Untouchable proposed to Precious. Precious after, Precious, after all the tears of joy, as we do consider it, after all the drama, she do what? She accept the engagement and she said yes to Untouchable Comedy. Then what is our problem now? Another question is this. Uh, another suggestion is this. Instead of Precious saying no to Untouchable Comedy, 
in front of camera to disgrace untouchable comedy. What she needs to do is to accept the accept the proposal off camera. She can walk into untouchable and say, Untouchable, I'm not interested in this marriage. I'm in a serious relationship. I'm engaged already. Something like that. All of us now telling untouchable pressure, you're not supposed to accept the proposal. You're not supposed to do this. They are the same people if pressures disgrace untouchable by by not accepting the proposal, they will see the same people to say that precious is a bad person. Upon all the things that untouchable have done to you, even if you don't want to marry untouchable, why can't you accept the ring? Off camera, then you can tell untouchable that you are not interested. So what precious did is the right thing. That one aside. I can assure you guys that Untouchable Comedy is a big prank star. This is the time you will share this video if you never share this video for the first time. Yes. Untouchable Comedy is a big prank star. Any unusual, for, for her to come out and talk about it means that it is real. Koboko is Untouchable Comedy friend. For, for, for him to come out online to say something about it, it means that he's real. According to him, he said that Flower Boy confirmed this. Untouchable Comedy Getman confirmed it. But the thing is this, how can Untouchable be proposing to a lady and all those in cartel men that they have been going to their places spreading dollars will not be around, will not be available? How do you see it? Apart from his manager that is paying money to pressures, no other person, and you are telling me it's real. Untouchable comedy want to prank pressures the same way pressures prank untouchable comedy mom by telling his mom that he want, that she wants her to tell her son to marry her so now the marriage now the imagination that is coming for reality in the in the in the in form of prank so i'm not believing that proposal is not real this proposal is a prank is a prank and untouchable want to know if precious will marry him or not. If you listen to his statement, he said, let's do this one. Let, let me propose to her to know if the proposal will lead to marriage. Somebody that is sensible will understand that is a prank. You understand? It's a prank. It's not real. So, if he, is, he have made up his mind to marry Precious, and the second thing, he said that, my my father had been telling me uh, that the pressure would be good for me. He now decided to give it a try, meaning he never make up his mind. He just want to try what his audience is saying to know if the girl is is interested in him or not. So this is what we call prank, and in a professional way. So untouchable comedy is not getting married to pressures to anywhere. What untouchable comedy did is a prank, just to prove to the whole world again that he's a king of prank and nothing but the truth. My name is Mr. Authority Voice, aka Professor Betato. But if something happened that untouchable now decided to make, make up his mind to marry Precious, to avoid disgracing her publicly, you understand? Good and fine. I will still say congratulations to both of them. But what I want you to know is this what untouchable comedy did is to revenge on the prank pressure prank um, her, his own mother so this is called professional prank in the highest order this is what i have to say my name is authority voice aka professor beta Tulut. share your own opinion in the comment section what do you think about this particular video do you think that as untouchable hair pressures that is that he that you don't have any as in that he's supposed to marry he, marry her or not. What is your own opinion? Do you think that people saying that Untouchable is not supposed to marry Precious is right? Or do you think that Precious um, trying to marry Untouchable? That, what do you think? Do you think that they should continue the marriage or they should not? Because Untouchable comedy, uh, Precious happened to be Untouchable Comedy daughter in the industry. What is your own opinion regarding this matter? Can you share your own opinion in the comment section? Remember... This thing that happened between Untouchable and Precious is something that also happened in other places. So we can learn more through you and through I. Thank you guys. My name is Authority Voice, aka the Professor Beta Truth on Love.